a variaco. So I know it's been a minute, you guys. Um, and I have to just, first of all, I want to say welcome. Welcome to all of my loyal subscribers and welcome to um, my new viewers. Um, and if you have not yet subscribed, please do. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I really appreciate and, and, and am very grateful for your viewership. I do this for you all, all right? For you all. But I want you all to understand that I am not, I don't do this for money, okay? So I don't, I'm not, you know, if the money comes, that's great, but I don't do YouTube for money. Um, I live in abundance and so I know it will always be with me. Um, and so I'm not one that can at this juncture, um, post videos every day. So please don't expect that. Um, there may be times where I may be posting more frequently. Um, but that time apparently has not been as of recent because I'm very busy. I am a mother. Um, I have several things going on uh, in my personal <laughs> life and in on the business sector. And so I'm being pulled in many directions. Um, and um, I just don't have the time to uh, post videos all day, every day. I just don't. Um, and so I post when I can. And when I post, I like to make sure that um, the information that I'm putting out there is valuable, whether it be just me voicing my, uh, opinion or maybe me sharing experiences, um, here or just giving, you know, little tidbits or, or, or business, um, business information as it relates to my experience and journey and registering a business successfully here in Tanzania. So, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. Um, someone was <laughs> saying to me, oh, you don't post very often. I don't, um, again, as of, as of late, because I'm very busy. I'm just busy. Um, and there are just certain things that are taking priority in my life, and they should be, i.e. being a mother. It's going to always take priority, you know, over me posting a video. Um, me making sure that I am dotting my I's and crossing my T's as it relates to um, getting my business together here in Tanzania um, and elsewhere. That's going to take priority yeah, other than me posting videos on YouTube. Okay. Um, and, and other personal things that I am uh, obligated to at this juncture. Okay, so moving right along. So some, um, I, I had received an email. Um, so some of you were wanting to know what the process was um, because there seems to be uh, um, an, uh, an idea that um, some things have changed as, as it relates to obtaining a multiple entry visa. Um, someone was asking, you know, was, was saying that they need um, an invitation. They were asking me, you know, if I was aware of that. And I was not. Um, and so I reached out to uh, an attorney here. And that attorney reached out to someone in immigration who worked in the visa department. Um, and they stated um, what, she, what the attorney got back from the officer in the visa department was that that an invitation letter was not necessary to obtain a multiple entry visa. Um, that invitation letter is applicable to a business visa. That is what I was told. Um, the officer stated that if you are having issues, you know, when you are applying online for your multiple entry visa and this is you know for the for uh the brothers and sisters who are um attempting to obtain a multiple entry visa for tanzania um and you're from you're from the u.s then you know that you can only get a multiple entry visa so this is um directed specifically towards brothers and sisters who are coming from uh the u.s um, so moving um, right along, so they were 
he that officer said that um if you're having issues when you are applying for your visa where you're getting stuck because it's asking you for that and you cannot move along that you need to just upload a copy of your uh itinerary your flight itinerary so that you can move along and get to the next stage um and so from the information that i received was that that is that that invitation letter is not um necessary for a multiple entry visa um i was told that there is a bilateral agreement um for those who hold a u.s passport and that uh invitation letter has not been um has not been implemented um as a necessity so that's the information that i got back um and that is specifically applicable to the invitation letter is specifically applicable to the business visa so um that's the information that i have okay you guys so if you have any other questions pertaining to that you can send them over to me and i will uh forward and direct them towards the proper authority to try to get you all the best answer possible but that is the information that was told to me um today so i'm bringing it to you okay all right so let's get to um you know registering a business here now i have several videos you guys so i would encourage you to please go through those videos there's a great deal of information in those videos about multiple subjects and topics and including registering a business obtaining your tin there's a whole video dedicated to obtaining your tin for your business and so i'm not going to spend a lot of time on that portion i would refer you back to that video but um as a refresher um yeah, there's an application that you would need to fill out. Um, they're going to ask you for the lease of the premises. Um, you're going to need, see, for your 10, I believe you're going to need two passport size photos. Um, I'm trying to remember you guys off the top of my head. <laughs> um, so the application, the premises, the lease for the premises, you're going to need uh, passport size photos. Um, you're going to need a letter from the leadership in the area where your business will, you know, the premises that you're renting. Um, you'll need a letter from the leadership um, uh, wherever wherever your business is located so you'll need that um as well um now this is um this information i'm giving you is to prepare you for the actual interview because you'll have to be interviewed once you have all of these documents um and so you're going to have to sit with a TRA officer and they're going to ask you some questions and no one will be allowed to be present with you. OK, so um, not even the other directors in the company. Um, it will be just be you. OK, so um, just be prepared to ask whatever questions the officer has for you. Um, when I went through the process, it was very you know, non-intimidating, uh, it went very smoothly. It was very professionally done. And so, um, yeah, so there's nothing to worry about there. Um, you're going to need, I just wanna make sure that I'm, I'm telling you all of the documents, um, you know, that you will need. Oh, you're going to need your um your items of of your your letter of incorporation okay for the company when you registered umbrella okay article of incorporation that is the correct uh terminology okay um so you're also going to need that showing that you know you have registered the business umbrella um or the company umbrella okay so we have passport size photos 
we have the application for a business TIN number. We have a letter from the local government, um, wherever your the premises is located. You're also going to need the lease for the premises that you are um, that you are leasing. Okay, so you're going to need that um, those things as well. And then once you have all of those things um, with you they're going to schedule an interview for you. And again, as I stated, very professional, uh, doesn't take too much time. Um, and so they're, you're, they're going to give you a paper that's going to get, that's going to tell you the questions that you will be asked um, during the interview when you go in and um, schedule the interview, okay? So that's that. Once you go through the interview, if everything is fine, um, you will get your uh, TIN certificate um, with your business TIN number. And then you also have to get an estimation. You have to um, estimate your taxes, okay? So you'll have to do that. The, they're gonna ask you what is your initial startup. Um, contribution and um, you're gonna have to answer that question according to you know what you've worked out that to be for your business okay um, and then they're gonna base your uh, initial uh, tax assessment on that figure okay um, the payments will be broken up broken up into four payments um, and so they will give you a control number and then you would go and you can make the initial first installment um, towards your uh, the, the tax balance, okay? So once you do that tax assessment, they will give you a printout and it will give you the months um, that those payments, because again, there are four payments um, that your, your tax obligation, your initial tax obligation will be broken up, broken up into four payments. And so they will give you um, a, a sheet of paper and it will give you the month um, and the year for, you know, that those, the, the increments, those, um, th that those payments are, are due. And then you would have a control number and you can go to a Wakala and uh, make your payments, okay, to uh, TRA for your company. Um, so yeah, that's very important um, that you do both of those things. The interview, obtain your TIN certificate and do the tax assessment. You must do both, okay? All right, um, and that's if you're registering a company. All right, so um, we got that out of the way. Let's move on to, um, and that's free. Okay, the TIN number, obtaining the TIN number for the business, for the company is, is free. I did not have to pay for that. Okay, moving right along to the business license. Okay, so for the business license, um, that process was, was very smooth. I mean, I think that was like the smoothest. <laughs> Uh, very smooth. I just needed to make sure that I had all of the my do documentation. Um, they needed to they, they needed to see that the tax assessment um, when I went to um, the building to obtain my um, business license. Uh, they needed to see yeah that tax assessment. They needed to see uh, the receipt that I had paid the first installment. Um, they needed the articles of incorporation from Brela. Um, they needed the TIN certificate, and they needed the um, member. Oh, what is it? Merrimarts. They need the Merrimarts. Okay, and you get the Merrimarts when you register your business, and it's going to be about ten pages. Um, at least mine was, and when you register Umbrella. Um, you know, you would put in all of the information that it's asking you for, and then it will create the Merrimarts, okay? Um, and that speaks to how the business will be run. Um, it speaks to shareholdership. It speaks to um, 
the type of services that your business will be providing, um, all of that information, um, you know, how, you know, if you want to close the business, what you would have to do. Um, so it, 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 it entails all of that. Um, and so they, I needed that um, to obtain the business license um, as, as well. Um, I also needed a copy. Um, I needed a copy of the um, letter from the local government where my business was registered. So once I um, gave them all of that information, um, they gave they gave me the amount that I was supposed to pay, and they gave me a control number. Um, and the amount was 200,000 shillings. And so I went and I paid that. Now, again, just because the amount that, that I was given for my business license is 200,000 shillings does not mean that that will be the amount that you have to pay. It's all, it all depends on the type of business that you are, uh, running. Okay. It depends on, you know, that that is, is just specifically applicable to your company and all companies are not the same. So please do not think that just because that is the amount that was assessed to me, that that will be the amount that is assessed to you. Okay. All right. Um, so that being said, I went and paid the amount uh, via the control number. I went, came back and showed them that receipt um, and told me that while they are, I'm awaiting the actual business certificate that I could go ahead and start um, my business just by posting that receipt of payment, okay? And it took all of maybe one hour for me to do that, quailing. It was, again, very seamless. Um, and I went back a week later and I actually got the actual certificate, business certificate. So it was very well professionally done. Just really, um, it, it really was just seamless and, and, and just very, very smooth. Um, so yeah, so I got that, got the business license. Um, and the, the most important thing you guys is just making sure that you have your documents Make sure um, when you're going to obtain your business TIN, they're going to give you a form. Just take that, they're gonna give you a form that has all of the documents that are required just in case I miss something. So it's, in, it's imperative that you don't just take my word for it and just in case I may have missed something, you know. Um, so you, you go and you obtain that, that piece of paper and it's going to tell you all the documentation that you need, all the documents. And you just go down the list and you start checking things off. And then once you have all of the documents, then that's when you go in and you go to um, set up your, uh, your interview with a TRA officer, okay? Um, and then the same thing with obtaining the business license. Make sure that you um, have all of the documents, all of the documents. Okay. Um, and actually, excuse me, just coming out of you for a second. Um, let me, I, I think I have here, um, the things that, that are required for the business license. So let me, and just look really quickly here. Okay. Okay. So this, these are the documents that you'll need. Um, mayor, uh, me Mart. Okay. You'll need a tax clearance. Very important. That's the one thing I did not, uh, one, one thing I did not mention is the tax clearance. Uh, a tax, you need the tax clearance form. You're going to need, and, and you get the tax clearance. Excuse me, guys. You get the tax clearance. As I mentioned, they're going to give you you know, the, um, the due dates for your, your four payments. So when you're making your initial, um, tax assessment payment, um, 
you they're going to give you a receipt when you you know wakala whether you went directly to the bank or you went to a wakala i just went to a wakala and once she gives you the receipt of payment you then take that receipt back to tra and request in okay so let me make this very clear if you did your own tax assessment and the and the tra officer did not do it for um with you and for you while you were there sitting there um during the interview and you, if you did it yourself and you went over to the computer and logged in with your login information um then you will have to write a letter requesting a tax clearance certificate and you will have to address it um to uh that the p.o box that they give there they'll give you the p.o box okay so if you did your own tax assessment on the computer okay then you will have to request a tax clearance certificate in writing okay all right so me marts which I told you you're going to obtain when you're registering the business on Brela. Tax clearance form, I just went through that. Letter from the local government. You need um, the application form for the business license, which they will provide when you go there. Um, and, and that's it. So actually, that's it. So you'll need Memart's tax clearance letter from the local government. Um, and then there is an application that, that they will provide when you go to the municipal uh, council, okay? Because that's where you will have to go to get your business license, okay? Municipal council. All right. So, yeah. So, that's what I have uh, for you guys um, thus far. So, I'm going to be moving on to make sure that I have the correct permit now for so that I can um, hire um, and legally work in Tanzania, okay? So I will continue to bring you all along and share any information that I have, all right? So if you have any other questions, you know you can email me at journeythroughalkebulon at gmail.com and I'll try my very best to get back to you as quickly as possible. If you have emailed me and for some reason I have not responded, please send another email. Don't be offended. Don't think that I am ignoring you um, unless, and if I am, like if you're asking something that's just inappropriate or, you know, you're not being uh, a nice person, <laughs> I would just simply tell you, don't, you know, don't email me anymore. But, um, other than that, if I have not responded, don't assume that I'm ignoring you. Um, it's just that I'm, I'm, I'm very busy and I probably intended on um, responding and I just um, became very busy or I just didn't see the email, okay? So, um, and if it's something that I just don't know and I can't answer, then um, I will let you know and I'll just tell you, I'll try to find the answer for you. But one thing that I want to say um, in closing is that we have to be very um, resourceful ourselves. Um, and I find that a lot of times with us, we're expecting others to do our work. And I'm not one that's going to do that. I'm simply sharing my experiences with you guys in hopes that it will help you in your journey. Um, while in Tanzania or wherever you are in the continent, um, whichever con a content um, um, is, is applicable and, and helpful to your, your unique situation. And so um, I'm simply sharing, um, but I am not, you know, I, I'm not your secretary, I'm not. <laughs> and, um, I just sometimes I'm just very perplexed uh, by some of the requests that I get. Um, I've had people ask me to look up flight information, how much, um, how much are tickets to get to Tanzania, or what do I need to do to move to Tanzania? Okay, these are quite like things that you can very much so um, find out on your own and figure out on your own. 
Um, I have enough content from the beginning of our journey up until now for you to kind of sift through the information and see um, what you can take out that will benefit you in your journey as to what you will need, you know, and how I went about moving to uh, the continent, back to the continent. Um, but tickets and how much tickets are and all of that, I, 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 I am not the airline. Okay, it's a simple Google search. It's something that we all can do. And so we have to be <laughs> really, we have to be um, self sufficient, we have to be uh, resourceful um, ourselves. Um, like I said, I'm just very perplexed at some of the requests that I get. And if I get those types of requests, I'm just going to simply tell you that you can do that on your own. Okay. I'm not going to be doing that for you. I'm not your secretary. Okay. I'm your sister who's, you know, being, you know, kind enough to share her experiences in hopes that in some way it will help uh, uh, and benefit uh, you. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that is all I have. Um, and so until we meet again, until next time, you all be good. Okay.